Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 as we are playing with the Lusignan Dynasty. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started as our cruel character. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, begin this episode by changing up our, our focus. Obviously, um, I'm going to change away from the family focus that I said. I, I, think, I think we're kind of done focusing on the family. Uh, plus, we have that, that family man bonus here already, which increases our fertility. Uh, so let's go ahead and work on, as I said, I really think that this would be what he'd want to do. Uh, just run around having a bit of fun and strives to become more popular and outgoing by hosting wild parties. Uh, and for two reasons. One, we're very gregarious. And two, uh, we're a drunk. So it seems very fitting for us to do that. So that's what we're going to do. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, as far as like changing our uh, abilities here, it does decrease our health though. So that's one thing to consider. So it might result in us dying. Maybe we should get rid of that infection before we do this actually now that I think about it. Yeah, I didn't really consider that fact. Uh, it would increase our diplomacy. But you know what? Let's let's see if we can't get rid of that infection. Let's give it another year or so. I don't know. A lot of times those infections seem to stick around for a long time. So so yeah, we'll just, we'll just leave it as is uh, for right now and then we'll change it up. I do want to give a county off to somebody. There's not really anybody to give it off to. I mean, we have that new noble. I don't know, what's his opinion of us? Let me just take a look. Uh, this guy here. Yeah, uh, he is arbitrary. He's honest, diligent. Yeah, I mean, maybe this is an option. Let's let's start by arranging a marriage for him. Uh, let's see if we can't find somebody, just anybody. Obviously not anybody would result in him leaving our courts. So we're not gonna base this on rank. We'll base it on culture, I suppose. Yeah, let's just see if we can't find somebody like decent that's the same culture as him. Uh, so we'll see who's all available here. Uh, we've got Katarina, she's 40. Yeah, we're gonna want somebody more around his age if we can find it. Uh, okay, we have a 24-year-old over here. Yeah, that's about his age. And she's content, so maybe she'll keep him from <laughs> rebelling or whatever. Uh, yeah, I, let's let's assign, let's have her uh, marry him. I think that would be good. And, and they both agree to it as well. Uh, so, yeah, this is the Baron here. Let's go ahead and arrange that marriage. And that should go through. And hopefully he'll be happy with us. I don't know if he actually even wanted to get married. It looks like he didn't. He didn't really care about getting married. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong damn person, of course. <laughs> Let's go back and see if that pleased him at all. Uh, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't seem that it did. He he didn't really care about getting married. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, and oh damn, Albert did die, guys. That's not surprising. He was a sickly little baby. Uh, yeah, that's that's quite unfortunate, guys. All right, so he didn't make it. He didn't make it. Uh, so real shame that we lost our second son. I guess that's another reason to keep the family focused then, I suppose, uh, since yeah, our our spare heir did end up dying. And it kind of sucks, man. We have not had like more than one child this entire time. Uh, and that kind of adds a lot of the dynamics and, and fun to the game is when you, you know, you have, and what, what happened over here? Oh, okay, I don't think that affects us at all. Uh, is when you have multiple brothers, they often fight. Uh, you can have your other sons, you know, you can do different stuff with them. Like you can have them like, you know, assemble a mercenary company, or you know, when he go, they go and join orders, or they, you can make them a bishop. I, mean, I don't know. There's just so much stuff you could do with your other children, and we haven't had any of those options, or with your brothers, and we haven't had any of that, uh, which has been a shame. Uh, though, you know, we do have siblings; they live in another another land. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. All right, so I don't know. He's attempting to pass our our vassal there, uh, and it seems his mother has died. Okay, she was actually slain in the chaotic battlefield duel. Why was she out there dueling on the battlefield, a 65-year-old woman? That's a badass, maybe because she was possessed. Uh, but yeah, she is now dead. So that means that he has inherited all these lands here. Uh, so yeah, all these are, are now his. There's a young countess here that could be uh, arranged a marriage for with our son if we wanted to increase our county that way, or our lands that way. I think it would be better to increase the lands over this way though, honestly, because uh, then at least it would be bordering our current lands. Um, yeah, just taking a look at the current situation here. Um, the only one he actually holds is, of course, the the capital of the, the duchy. Uh, but I wonder if he would be willing to give us any lands. I don't know. Probably not. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, Emperor Albert is requesting help with his mismanagement of the economy. We are asked to provide a certain amount of gold. Um, all right. Yeah, I guess he pissed away all his money. I can provide 10 gold. That's fine. And it's our emperor, so I think it makes sense. Uh, though he did just gain all those lands. I'm surprised 
Did he inherit like a debt or something? Uh, I don't know if you actually inherit debt from your parent. Uh, your marshal has excellent. Initiated a nice recruitment drive there. Fantastic. So, so yeah, we're just kind of waiting for our son to get old enough. Uh, and then as far as, yeah, our focus, once again, I think we'll keep it as is for a little bit. He wants to continue, wants to appoint us to the commander position, but I don't want it. Uh, one thing we really need to do with our money that I haven't done yet is we have this, uh, this hospital here and we have not built anything yet here. We could build a sick house uh, if we had 343 gold. So maybe we should build that. Uh, we haven't had a lot of problem with disease, honestly. Honestly, the diseases seem to be a lot worse in like earlier playthroughs uh, than the later ones. So I've received a request for additional funds from my spy master. He is worried. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I'll give him a little bit of money. Everybody wants my damn money, man. Can't do nothing with it. And the barracks is finished. Excellent. So we should have even more troops uh, under our control eventually. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I really hope that Count Ra Raul is doing well. I wonder if there could be something else I could do. Uh, yeah, let's try and sway him. Lose a little bit of prestige once again. I'm trying to increase his opinion of us just a little bit. Uh, he's more than happy to talk to me about his struggles and aspirations. In fact, he seems to have questions for me as well. All right, so this might be easy, I don't know, to, to sway him over to us uh, just because he's, uh, yeah, you know, he is who he is. Uh, I don't know. I suppose we'll see. Uh, oh, does he already have an heir? I didn't realize he had a son. Oh, he's got a ton of children. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, he's got a bunch of kids. I'm a little bit surprised by that. So, uh, my liege, I believe one of your vassals can be... Okay, so uh, we... You know what, that would probably be a good idea since we don't want him to get in a faction. Yeah, let's obligate the, the vassal. Uh, I, as I said, I don't typically do that because uh, thank you for reminding me of my duties and obligations as your vassal. You're right, of course. Uh, but yeah, I typically don't do these because it does increase their, or decrease their opinion a little bit. Uh, but you know what, since we have no no intention of appointing him to our council because he's so garbage, uh, his stats, although he has increased his stats a bit, I don't know particularly how, I don't know if it's just because he took the war focus. Yeah, that might have increased his... Yeah, but I don't know how he increased his diplomacy. But whatever, we'll take it. Uh, so he is a little bit better if we did have to appoint him. Uh, but like I said, I don't really have much intentions of importing him uh, to any positions because he's just not all that great, guys. Uh, he's kind of garbage. We'll continue to try and increase our opinion with him. Uh, make him like us a bit more. And... So that's what he wanted to, to do. That's why he was getting those favors. Earlier today, my spy master presented his plan to catch any sneaky spies at, at court. He was weakened. He has weakened the floorboards and strategic places to make sure a creaky nose is always heard when someone moves around during the night. All right, so that gives us uh, plot power defense. My beloved spouse has noticed my constant drinking is deeply concerned. She's asked me to stop drinking and become responsible again. So I can force her to drink with me. <laughs> make her a drunkard. Um, oh, she is lustful. Interesting. She doesn't have a lover or anything, does she? No, nah, not that we know of. Uh, so we can force her to drink with us. We can uh, ignore her, which then she will not be happy. Or we can listen to her advice. I mean, I'm always kind of conflicted on how to go with these. Because obviously we are drunkards, so we don't want to give it up. But we also love our wife. So I'm just looking at our traits here. And first of all, being a drunkard, a drunkard while being temperate, it doesn't really make an, a whole lot of sense considering the fact that, you know, when you're temperate, you do everything in moderation, including drinking. So, yeah, I think it would make sense to, to listen to your advice. We probably won't get it anyway. It's a 25% chance that you're going to lose it. So, yeah, we probably will remain a drunkard. We are. So, yeah, we didn't lose the trade or anything. And we didn't decrease our opinion with our wife, which is good because I would like to have more babies, though. I don't think that's probably going to happen. She is 45 years old. I thought about making her a drunkard, too, but uh, a drunk, lustful woman, I don't know if that would be good. <laughs> If she doesn't have a lover yet, she would. Uh, your infection has put you in grave danger on multiple occasions. The pain and foul smell have finally sub uh, subsided and your wound looks clean. Excellent. So we've lost the infection treat. Uh, fantastic. Uh, I am going to go ahead and change the focus away. Like I said, I don't expect us to have any more babies. So uh, let's go ahead and change it off to this one. Yeah, I think we're going to focus on becoming more popular and, and hosting wild parties i think that makes sense and you can always like talk to people and ask them to to go out drinking with you as well i believe uh, i think we could talk to him right now and say hey come drink with us yeah we could do that but you know what why would we invite him before we invite our bestest pal another guy we need to think about too is this child here obviously we can't you know invite him to drink but uh, maybe in the future we will uh, but our bestest pal why would we not invite him to drink with us so let's invite him uh, out 
to uh, so he'll get prepares a small feast. We'll have a bit of fun together. Hopefully he'll accept. He says, of course I will come feast with you. I bring my best appeti appetite for revelry. Fantastic. So yeah, uh, we can go ahead and get the hospital uh, building built here. So let's do that, the sick house. Uh, this will increase disease resistance in the province. Uh, once again, haven't had a lot of problems with diseases. But, you know, it's, it's good to have that in your capital since that's where all your family and characters are. So it keeps uh, the chance of disease here, uh, makes it less likely. So it's it's good. Uh, so we'll grab that up. Uh, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with these these uh, these favors that we have just yet. And it seems that there's another damn peasant revolt, constantly having peasant problems, uh, peasants revolting. I don't have the peasant revolts as often as the AI seems to. They constantly have peasant revolts. Our son is 10 years old, uh, so and he's also affectionate, uh, which can e evolve into uh, kind, content, or trusting. So we're getting a playful, affectionate little kid. So he's a nice little kid. Uh, so we're seeing how he is slowly developing here. Uh, so what I would like to to do is is let me just take a look and see if if there's any other uh, like marriage opportunities here. Oh, all right. So looks like the duke died. I wasn't even aware of that. But yeah, he has died. Uh, so there's not really anything for us to do here other than like arrange a marriage with his his daughter or with his sister. Excuse me. Uh, so. So yeah, that, that's what happened there. Let's take a look at what happened over here. Uh, once again, two sons can arrange a marriage with a sibling, but I'm looking for something that might grant us a bit of inheritance. It does seem that the Duke here did have a son, and that's why I wanted to wait, because yeah, there was a good possibility he was gonna have a son. So that means that there's not really any opportunities amongst the main Dukes that I see. Uh, he still doesn't have a child, uh, so his brother would inherit. Um, yeah, I don't see. I mean, he's 31. I mean, he might have a child and it might be a daughter. Uh, but yeah, probably not likely. Uh, we already checked him, that's right. Let's take a look up here though. Yeah, once again, nothing there, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, there's not anything here. All right, let's take a look at uh, the Duke of Burgundy. Did I look at him yet? Yeah, we did. All right, so we could always do something for an alliance, um, but I think it'd be far better to arrange something. And she's like right around the, the perfect age as well. Why did her brother not inherit? Hmm, maybe a half-brother or something? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why her brother didn't inherit. Oh, because it was just, okay, that's right. It was the mom who held the title, and it is a half-brother. All right, just wanted to see what was going on there, and she's also focusing on etiquette. All right, awesome. Uh, we don't know what her stats are, um, but you know what? Before she ends up getting another betrothal offer, I think we should go ahead and range, uh, range for this. Let's have her marry our son, Hugh, and we'd gain 17 prestige as well. Because uh, I guess they're a very prestigious family, apparently. All right, so let's go ahead and arrange that. That betrothal, I'm sure she'll accept it. Although last time, uh, peace be with you, I've decided to accept. Yeah, so she accepted it. Uh, she is betrothed, uh, betrothed to our, our our son. Last time we did this, a betrothal with a, a young girl for our son, and ended up just canceling at some point. I don't even know when. Um, I guess I've arrived for a private feast. I've arranged. It's time to let the carousing and merriment begin. Let's get it started. Uh, let me take a look to see if there's anything we can do in our intrigue. We could throw a summer feast. It's a great time to spend carousing in merry company. While the cups are being refilled, Count Emery brings out a strange board with little decorated pieces explaining that it's a kind of strategy game. He assures me that it's a great pastime that combines well with copious amounts of drink. Uh, so we can say we, we will play for money or we will play for honor. Oh yeah, let's play for money. That always makes it more fun, I think. We played for hours, the tides of fortune ebbing and flowing as I tried to attack my opponent's positions without opening my defense too much. Eventually, however, I made a fatal mistake that my opponent exploded and I lost the game. Well, he is the marshal. So if it's based on marshal skills, then yeah, I can see how, how that happened. Uh, but it was all good fun, even if we lost. Uh, so it's over, it's time to get back to real life, unfortunately. And that did give us a diplomacy point, excellent. All right, and I think he probably would like us a bit more as well, I think. All right, maybe I should write a letter to Count Ra Raul to try and convince him of my good intentions. Yeah, sure, let's write him a letter. Uh, also, I wanted to, and he's not responded. Well, that asshole. Uh, I wanted to invite him as well. Let's have a drink with him if we can, though we might not be able to. It might be limited how often you can do it. Uh, let's just take a look. Yeah, it looks like we can't do it as long as we have it, uh, the recent, uh, and we... We'll lose that in January, 1288. All right, we'll invite him then. Uh, I wonder if we can do anything else while we wait here. 
just take a look. I know we, we lost the chance to do a summer fair. Uh, we don't really have any money right now to do anything. Yeah, there's not really anything to do right now. So we'll just continue focusing on having a good time. We could invite our wife and <laughs> have her go with us next time. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll invite the Count here next. I'm sure he'll enjoy a good drink. And uh, peace with, with you. Yeah, we, I don't want to be your commander, man. He just keeps on asking me. And I'm not interested in it. We did increase our uh, loud size here, uh, probably from losing that uh, infection. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what it is. So now we should be earning more money. Uh, so now I don't feel the need to, to give away anything. Uh, it looks like our court physician has died. Oh, well, that's a shame. I guess we'll have to get a new one. Hopefully we don't have to wait too long. And I'm si starting to think that... Is it Sansa? Is that how you... I don't know how you pronounce that C there. Um, but she might fancy me. Uh, do we want to make a Mahoosh yet? No. I'm not gonna... That's terrible. Ah, it's not appropriate. It's his wife. And we're just not that type of guy, I don't think. So one of your messengers returns the news an old nun residing. You know what? Before we do anything, I want to... If you were to donate a tidy sum... Oh, a tidy sum? You gotta donate a bunch of money to get her. And is she any good? That's what I want to check before we read all that. N no, she's not good. Um, I've changed my mind. I changed my mind and do not require her services. We want somebody who's at a little bit better than that. And he continues. He's been very busy. We got the sick house completed. Excellent. Uh, and there's always a place at my table and a warm spot in front of the hearth for the old men and women who have served me before and now have nowhere else to go. Their stories delight everyone. And I see no need for them to be forgotten after long lives of hard work for me. So some courtiers think it's good too. So our kindness has impressed her. And I almost blushed when Sansa expressed her admiration over my generosity and kindness. So yeah, she must really have a thing for us or something, man. <laughs> yeah, because she is trying hard after us. And I'm not not particularly interested. Surprise, she's content in life. She's gladness, too. Uh, thank you for those kind words. All right, so she really likes us. Hopefully he likes us, too. It looks like he does. Because, yeah, if I was to give a county away, I assume I'd give it to him. Uh, he'd probably be the best option available to us right now. If we wanted to give one away, uh, we can go ahead and ask the count here to go out with us. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe not. Looks like it has not gone. Oh, we have to do it the 28th. <laughs> All right. We should be able to do it now. There we go. And hopefully he accepts my invitation. He said he cannot join me for merrymaking at this time. Well, damn him. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Our prestige is pretty decent. I think it's about where it was for his grandfather. You know, the character we played for most of this playthrough. Uh, you know, obviously he was more of a piety guy than a prestige guy. Uh, but he ruled for a lot longer than the Duke here. And, yeah, his I think his piety or his prestige is about where his was. So, yeah, he's a very prestigious fellow. Um, no one accepts my invitation to carousing. No one accepted my invitation to carousing. One person makes no fees, so I will have to postpone it for later. Yeah, it's a shame. All right, so our heir is now old enough to be introduced to the realm. So let's go ahead and do that. You invited your vassals to partake in a formal introduction of your heir, Hugh. He will have to exchange many pleasantries and act in a very formal way, something that might be tiresome for someone as young as him. However, you have full confidence that he will not disappoint you. All right, so they will be here soon. Uh, and then also we can give him a focus. Uh, so just taking a look at what the best option is based on his traits. He ended up getting, once again, we've seen these two playful and affectionate, but he is also timid. He's a sh uh, very shy and quiet child, usually avoiding open conflicts. So it looks like, it, you know, stewardship would have no penalties or bonuses. Uh, he wouldn't do good as in the learning education because he's just too playful, even if he is timid. Uh, with intrigue, once again, affectionate doesn't do well for that. Playful does. Uh, timid's not great for Marshall, so the best option is uh, the diplomacy education, which is what I was thinking we were going to do with him anyway, uh, and he gets that nice bonus for that. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that one. I think that's fitting for Hugh. So um, the other thing I want to do is spend our money. We have some money. Uh, we could build in our own lands here uh, in one of these uh, provinces, although I'm not really seeing anything that we can get here. Yeah, it's not really much. Uh, there's stuff here in that province if we wanted to, to build there. There's also stuff here as well. Just looking at the more profitable provinces, uh, it looks like, yeah, this would be a good one. So was this one. This one's not bad either. Yeah, that one's pretty decent. Um, but yeah, I'd probably want to build in this one. We could build up there if we desired, or we could also continue adding to our hospital. There's two choices here. Uh, this one would 
this one would be okay. I, I think we'll probably get the troops, though. Um, our character's not, like, the most pious guy ever. Yeah, I think it would make more sense. Or, actually, we'll go with the castle down. That's more money. Oh, yeah. We'll do that. Get more money. All right. So, looking pretty good across our lands. As Hugh, as Hugh introduces himself to the bishop, Durin of uh, Sauvigny, he not only, and I don't know if I pronounced that right, but hopefully, he not only brings, prevents, presents himself with grace, but also manages to impress Duran by skillfully complimenting himself. Well, fantastic job, Hugh. I'm impressed. He's done a great job. He's going to make a fantastic little error, I think. Uh, just taking a look at his, his uh, stats here. He's got a 6 in diplomacy. Uh, 5 in learning. It's all right for a 12-year-old. As Hugh introduces, so yes, he did once again. He did good. He impressed somebody else here. Another one of our vassals. So, excellent. He's doing a great job. Uh, during a particularly heated argument in the council, you stepped in as a Duchess Hilaganda of Flan Flanders making a fool of herself. You managed to soothe the debaters and win the argument for her. Alright, so this would result in her giving it, get, uh, owing us a favor. Like, a ton of the dukes and duchesses of the realm owe us favors, man. When we want to start a faction. We could create just a massive uh, faction uh, with all of the powerful dukes, or a lot of the powerful dukes of the realm. Uh, so that's something to consider. I mean, we're still pretty young, so maybe there might be something that we do in the future if we wanted to force something. Obviously, we can't do anything right now. Uh, it would have to be like when the emperor died uh, and then his council was discontent. But he's not that much older than us. He's a little bit stressed out. Yeah, but yeah, I don't see him dying anytime time soon here. So who's his heir? Why is... Are these all bastards or something? Okay, no, he's in the holy order. I'm guessing... I don't know why this guy isn't. He's not a bastard or anything. What? Hmm. He's the one that rebelled, isn't he? Yeah, he rebelled. I don't know why he's not uh, the heir. It's interesting. Hmm. I'm not seeing any reasons. Maybe it's just because he rebelled. Perhaps. Not entirely sure. Why is this guy? He's also a holy order. And then that results in his eight-year-old son being the uh, the heir. Uh, it is evidently clear to all of the visiting vassals that Hugh has been infatuated with Baron Andre's wife, Baroness Eleanor. While harmless, Hugh is still falling around like a dog. Andre does not seem to be amused. Oh, man. How old is she? She's 34 years old. So th there's there's no time for this nonsense. Uh, and then he gets the teenage infatuation uh, with her. <laughs> all right. Uh, so this is the Baron right over here. All right. Interesting. So he's a, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> he's a little lover, man. He looks like the more uh, lover than a fighter type of character. So Bishop Arnaud is a renowned fighter and tactician. After having introduced himself to Hugh, he approaches us with an offer. He's willing to spend some time teaching Hugh how to fight in exchange for your favor. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll take a favor for that. Uh, yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Uh, and that would gain one marshal for our son, and we get prestige as well. Yeah, I'll do that make our, our son even better. Lots of peasants have been moving to the county of Bourbon lately. All right, yeah, let's do that to get the, uh, because it's supposed to the construction cost and the prosperity. Uh, I think we are actually building there as well, so I don't know if that'll affect it. I don't know if that affects buildings that you're already doing, though. Yeah, it might not. Uh, so do we want to send him another letter? Yeah, we can try. Not having all the luck with it, uh, but his opinion's much higher than it was, so we're having some progress there. He was more than happy to tell me about his struggles and aspirations. He seems to talk, like to talk about himself a lot. Uh, he doesn't want to go out drinking with me, but he'll talk about himself all damn day. Um, I wonder if there's anybody else I can invite to go out drinking. Um, trying to see. This is, this is, he's still just a boy. We have to wait till he got a little bit old enough. We could always invite our wife to go drinking with us. Yeah, let's see if she wants to go out for a drink. Yeah, let's go for a drink, babe. Um, yeah, I know my wife is my bestest pal, so and of course she'll come with us. So it should be fun. Uh, so we have three. Oh, somebody must have died. Yeah, somebody died. I think the Duke of Burgundy died. Yep, we've got a new Duke of Burgundy over here. All right, interesting. And our marshal has had another successful recruitment drive. Fantastic. Yeah, so that's a bummer because the Duke of Burgundy is one of the more powerful ones and we had that, that really nice uh, favor from him. But unfortunately, uh, he died. And now his son is on the throne. Just taking a look at his son. He's a shy craven with cancer. And he has no children. So who's his heir? Who's this? Oh, his brother's his heir. Alright. Okay. My guests have arrived for a private feast I've arranged. And it's time to let the grousing and merriment begin. It's just me and my wife. 
just having a drink together, that's all. These days of revelry are an ex excellent escape. So many laughs and so many intense conversations in such a short time. It brings me closer to my ca companions. I feel like good friends already. So we come, we become good friends with our wife. Well, that's excellent. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to have any more children. That's fine. Um, it just seems like the Hughes are just completely incapable of having more than one child successfully. That's just the way it's been, which has kind of been a bummer for the playthrough, I think. But it is what it is. It just seems that we're not the most... Uh, we're not the most fertile bunch, apparently. Uh, and, and part of that was our, our first character was so religious. Uh, and I guess uh, this character was chased for a while, wasn't he? Yeah, I think he was chased for quite some time uh, until we lost that. So that's that's part of it. Uh, we still have wars over here. Uh, looks like... All right, so there's a count here doing a war. He's also trying to put Albert on the th throne. And... We're just losing prestige, trying to do, trying to get this guy to like us. Uh, but it is increasing his opinion of us. Yeah, it keeps increasing it. Oh, he must be in battle or something. He's all bloody. Righteous imprisonment of somebody. Uh, this is the bishop here. Why can we righteously imprison him, I wonder? Um, since we have evidence that he's involved in a plot. Let's take a look at what his plot is. Um, he is looking to kill... Oh... Well, we can't have that. Why does he want to kill her? Like, for what reason? I don't think we need to arrest him, guys. I think that that's a bit much. I think, uh, let's instead just tell him to end his plot. Yeah, just end it. You don't need to be doing that, my friend. Um, so, known plots here. So we haven't looked at these in a while. It seems that he wants to kill our vassal here. Why? Is he set to, oh, he's set to succeed. Hmm. Interesting. I'm surprised that he's set to succeed here. All right, well, we're going to tell his ass to end the plot, too. Can't have him doing this. Um, so, yeah, we're going to tell him to, to end the plot. End your plot, good sir. He said no. Oh, really, then? That's the way you want to do this. Um, I can't arrest him, though. Yeah, that's not an option. Where is he at? Is he like, oh, he's not even in our realm. All right, so that's why he's not willing to, to end the plot. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, hopefully he doesn't succeed. And Chancellor's improved relations with the mayor. Great job. Uh, yes, let's recruit another physician. Hopefully we get somebody a little bit better this time than the, uh, the nun. Uh, let's just take a look at him now before I go reading anything. I mean, he's okay. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's alright, I guess. I suppose we'll go ahead and take him in. We just have to remember that he's not a great physician. Uh, during your, a particular heated argument in the council, you stepped in. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get another favor from a duke. Or maybe not. Oh, did we fail this time? You stepped in as um, the Duke of Anjou was making a fool of himself. You managed to soothe the debaters and win the argument for him, though this only infuriated him as he wanted to win the argument by his own means. Throwing a tantrum like this has publicly shamed him. Oh, wow. All right. So, yeah, he's not happy about that. Not at all. Oh, here we go. The faithful prepare for war. A messenger approaches us with a letter from the Vatican from the Vicar of Christ himself. So where are we going? All right. So this is going to be a much larger conflict than previously. This is against Sultan Henry the Hammer, and he owns all of this land. Wow. All right, so this is going to be a massive crusade. Much more challenging than previous crusades. Let me just take a look at, like, how many men he has. Uh, he has about 20,000 men, and that's not counting men from, from his vassals that might rise up if we go into a crusade. Uh, so it's going to be a large conflict. Uh the Pope wants us to, and yes, we are definitely going to pledge ourselves. That was the entire purpose of this command, is to create a, a dynasty of crusaders. Um, so, so yeah, I'm really happy that we'll be able to, to do this. Uh, you know, obviously our, our grandfather was a crusader. Our father was not, uh, because we never had control of him. Uh, so he wasn't able to join in the crusades. He was over here, you know, managing this land and not, not doing what he should have done. Uh, so this hue uh, will definitely be joining the crusade. Uh, so let's find a beneficiary. Somebody that'd make a good option uh, to put in place here. Just trying to see. Um, I think. Let me just take a look at the lefty. Is there anything that. Yeah, I mean, this guy looks like a fantastic choice. He also wants to gain a title. Yeah, I think that he's a really good choice uh, to put in place. Yeah, I don't see anybody better than that, honestly. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put him in place. That's our beneficiary. Uh, so, hopefully. Uh, he gets a one of those titles down there, uh, but we are definitely gonna be helping with this crusade It's happened on the 20th of December 1292 So it's gonna be a little while 
Uh, so we're not going to want to go into any conflicts or anything. We're going to want to make sure that we have our full force here, which will be 11,000 men. Uh, 12,000 uh, men if we bring our vassal troops. Uh, during your stay, I found a great philosopher who has agreed to help. Yeah, we'll take this. 50 cultural points. That's cost a little bit of gold, but it's okay. And let's just take a look at... You know what? We should also take a look at our laws. I don't know if we can change anything. We can. Uh, but uh, it does seem that we would have to give away some some favors, and we need to do two favors. So let's go ahead and get some council support. Let's get his council support. Uh, we're gonna want to also get one more character. Uh, we could do the, the mayor here, 46 year old mayor, or we could do one of these guys as well. I don't know if any of them already have favors from us. Looks like that's a no. All right, so let's go ahead and get their council support so that we can get this passed. Uh, and he's created a new title, new duchy. All right. Um, so I haven't gotten, there's one, there's two, there we go. All right, so let's go and get this passed. Um, let me just take a look here. Yeah, we should be able to pass that. And they've approved it. Excellent. So now we have full control over everything outside of war declarations. And that would be the next thing that we'd want to do. Um, so we won't be able to do that until 1296. It's going to be about five years away. Uh, so we need to try and try and remember to do that. I always seem to forget, though. Uh, but then, yeah, once we do that, then we'll be able to abolish the council's power. Uh, period, though. I don't know if our ruler will live to see that. We'll have to see. Our son's currently 13 years old. That's right. We want to boost up some of our technologies. I'm going to do shipbuilding because I feel like we don't have enough ships a lot of times to send our troops. I, I guess I can take a look at that real quick and see how, we look, how we're how we looking on, on ship levies. Uh, yeah, we, we only have 28 of our own and then 16 of... Uh, from our vassals, that is not a lot. Uh, so we're gonna have to send them in, fuck, that's like three batches uh, to get all of our troops over there. So yeah, let's do shipbuilding. I think that would make sense. Uh, we'll take a look at how that has changed things in a second. Uh, and then also, I don't see anything over here that I wanna do, but over here, let's do the legalism. There we go, excellent. Um, can we change the, just take a look here. Uh, you cannot go to max centralization just yet, uh, unfortunately, and that's, is it, it looks like we actually could. Yeah, we could go to that uh, in 1296 if we wanted to. All right, well, maybe we'll do that instead of the council. I don't know, we'll take a look guys. Usually the council supports war. So that's typically not a problem that you have. Uh, while centralization would always be helpful because we can hold more lands uh, without any penalties. Uh, so let me just take a look at our fleet levies now. Uh, it doesn't look like it changed yet. Maybe we have to wait a little bit. Uh, it's, it's such a small change that I was expecting a couple more ships, but yeah, it doesn't look like we got any extra ones. And once again, we're no longer getting penalties in, in this province here, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, it seems that we still have the Thieves Guild here though. Uh, so yeah, still some issues that we have and that was all from when we went deep in the negative. We need to make sure we don't spend any money, guys. Oh, they had a kid. Excellent. They had a daughter. Fantastic. Oh, and they had a son, too. It looks like they had twins. Oh, I should have looked at... Yeah, I should have looked at him real quick. Take a look at... Uh, his children. So, yeah, he has two twins, looks like. All right, awesome. Good job. We can always set their focuses, and I think we will set their focus. Uh, I need somebody who's a good... I mean, what is he currently, the father? Uh, what job do we have? We have him as the chancellor. And I suppose we could appoint him as the chancellor, but you know what? I really want some good uh, good commanders. Let's do struggle. I think that would be wise. Uh, and then for her, eh, doesn't really matter. Probably just have her do, she wear etiquette, I guess. You don't really use the, the daughters for much in CK2, really just marriages. Uh, there's not really much use for, uh, for the, the uh, female characters in the game. Unless you're playing as them, uh, but yeah, I mean, you, there's so many, th so few things you could do because of you know history and all. Uh, so after the council meeting, spymaster, the spymaster asked me to exchange a few words private. Uh, let's do. Oh, he's uncovered a rumor concerning a rare artifact. Believe that there's some truth to the rumor and urge me to have a search arranged. Yeah, we'll look for the artifact, see if we can find it. Sometimes it's just you are successful for that. Good idea, spymaster. You should arrange it. And so we'll see if we can't find the art artifact. Now we're gonna try and save our money, save as much money as we can before the crusade, which is happening very soon. Um, oh, it's actually a lot further than I thought. It was two years away. Uh, so yeah, it's not gonna be happening until 1292. Well, that's good. It gives us more time to earn money since we don't really have as much as we're gonna need. Uh, perhaps it is time I ask Count uh, Raul to spend some time with me. I mean, I'll continue to try and swim, I guess, but I mean, the opinion's starting to get much higher at this point. Yeah, it's not too bad now. Um, and 
He's making steady progress in the search for the artifact. Excellent. And he has obliged me. So we're going to try to convince him of our good intentions. And then after that, we'll probably stop trying to sway him. I think these days have really helped me getting Raul to know and appreciate me better. So we've seen this vent before. Um, so be sure to take another sip before leaving. Uh, so we can... Um, oh, this would provoke him? Yeah, it looks like this would provoke him. Uh, because we're kind, because I hope the visit was of your liking. Uh, I was honored by your visit. Yeah, we'll go with the kind trait. These are all based on traits, so any of them make sense for a character. So let's do that one. And take advantage of our, our best traits. Uh, as he is grown old, growing older, I can see that Hugh could use some guidance in some of my more experienced area, areas. It will require hard work and may not always be appreciated, but this is my chance to make a self-sacrifice for the sake of Hugh. So he deserves greatness, go get it. We can make him ambitious, which is a really good trait for a ruler, not so great a trait for a vassal. Uh, be thorough, make others count on you. And then uh, he would get the diligent trait, but we would become stressed. Make the move at the right time. He would become patient. Um, and yeah, we would become out of patience. And of course we'd be considered a hypocrite because we're not the most patient person. Uh, or he must learn his own lessons. So it doesn't make sense for us to go with that one. Because yeah, that would make us a hypocrite. Which, you know, in a roleplay series, we don't want to be a hypocrite. Uh, so yeah, we're not the most patient person. So we wouldn't preach it. Uh, diligent works fine, I suppose. And that's a great trait as well. Um, ambitious is one of the best ones though. I say he deserves greatness. Go get it. Why would he not? Yeah. Um, oh, he's a craven. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck shit, private. Our son is a craven. Our son is a coward. He is gregarious, though, so that's good. But yeah, I don't like seeing that he's a craven. That's really unfortunate. All right, so he's not really a... Uh, he's not a fighter. We've already kind of talked about this. He's the lover, not a fighter. Makes sense, I suppose. Uh, Castletown has been completed. Excellent, so that'll be more money for us. As we're trying to build up our war chest for the crusade. We only have a few more months left. It's December of this year. And we'll be get, engaging into the crusade. And that'll be next episode, actually, because it looks like this episode's just about done, guys. Uh, and the conversion tribes of... Oh, okay. They mass converted over there. While searching for a lost chalice, I came upon a band of ro uh, rogues who robbed me. Well, damn them. <laughs> All right, so we got robbed. Uh, and looks like the Duchess here has usurped a title. Okay. And we can now imprison... We can imprison him. Oh, well, he's, uh, well, wonder why he's, let me just take a look. I bet he's part of a faction, too. Yeah, he is part of a faction. Uh, we can imprison him probably because he has a plot, though. Um, I didn't know that he had come of age. I would like to give him a position on our council. Uh, he could be, I guess, either steward or chancellor. I mean, he doesn't, he's not really great at anything, but he's still young. So the plot that he's attempting to do is fabricate a claim on our duchy here. So that's the reason why we could imprison him. I'm not really looking to imprison him. He doesn't really like us um, all that much because he wants a seat on the council, which I'm fine giving him a seat on the council. Uh, I mean, we already have somebody here. It feels like we're going to have to make, well, no, because I was going to give him a, I was thinking about giving him a title. Uh, so yeah, I don't want him to yeah kind of in a pickle here. What about the the steward here? What is he good at? Yeah, cuz he's our Baron <sighs> Yeah, it's kind of a shame um, that we don't have a good position for him honestly Because uh, yeah, he's not fantastic at anything. I Suppose it makes sense to make him the Chancellor for right now We can always reappoint that guy if we ever do give him lands and that's fine. Maybe I'll give him something to appease him. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and make uh, Henry the Chancellor here because he's not too happy with us. And that'll boost his opinion of us a bit uh, because we did give him a position. Uh, so, so yeah, he's at 28. That's not bad. Um, you know what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and stop swaying here and instead start swaying him. All right, excellent. Let's try and change that up. We will ask him to end his plot, of course, and he will agree to that. Uh, so we'll do that and then uh, Yeah, that's right. I was going to go ahead and maybe give this guy a title uh, a, a minor title perhaps Yeah, I kind of want to give him a minor title. Let's let's take a look and see I mean, we have a lot of minor titles available for us um, I'll probably make Amory our, our regent because he's my bestest pal. I trust him uh, So he'll be our regent uh, and then we'll also want to give away some other positions here uh, since we have a lot of them and people don't entirely like us, um, let's give him the high almoner position. I think that would be smart and help boost him, his uh, opinion of us since we did take his, his council position. So I'm sure he's not happy about that. Uh, so we'll boost him there. Uh, and then we can also give up uh, some positions here to some of these other characters. Uh, we could do, let me just take a look here. I kind of want to make him the master of the hunt. 
yeah, I think that that's fitting. Yeah, let's make him the master of the hunt. Uh, so master of the hunt will be him. And then master of the horse. Uh, probably won't give that to anybody right now. Uh, we could do this guy, I suppose. He's not great militarily, I suppose. Um, but you know what? We're not going to give any positions. We just gave him some stuff. Let's see uh, if he causes us any problems. Uh, he is willing to uh, stop plotting, so that's good. Uh, so this will be the last thing that we're going to do. Uh, I heard about a bad woman who tries to blackmail Count Amory before my friend Count Amory came to me and asked for help. He isn't known for diplomacy, and as desperate as he is, it is even more likely Count Amory would handle the situation with less attack than needed. I'll help you in any way I can. He'll be very grateful, and we'll help him decide how to deal with the blackmail woman. Don't get me involved with that mad woman. Uh, or the black the black mare Belair is mad. If you want my help, I want to be reimbursed. So we require him to pay for it. No, he's my bestest pal. I'll help him any way that I can. So that's gonna be the last thing that we're gonna do for this episode, guys. Next episode in December, we have the crusade. So that should be fun. It'll be exciting. We haven't had a crusade in a while. So we'll be mobilizing all of our troops, uh, which is yeah, eleven thousand over eleven thousand. If we bring our our vassal troops. And, uh, yeah, we'll be, it looks like we're actually closer to 12,000. So yeah, we might be able to bring like 13,000 troops if we wanted to uh, over here to the Holy Land to, uh, start, uh, trying to get this land back for, for Christ. Uh, we're also just trying to build up our war chest for that as well. We're at 485 right now. Yeah, hopefully we'll get that up a little bit higher. Cause yeah, that could be a lot higher for how much money this is going to cost. So hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.